Hello Aquarius. It is time for your mid-June to July reading for this current year. We're going to look at the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Aquarius. So if this resonates with you, good deal. If not, do not worry about it. It is just a card game after all. Don't be dragging me, y'all. I don't think you guys would do that anyway. You're pretty cool. You just leave without saying a word. Just like you do. We're just cool. Now, let's see. What is up with you, Aquarius, for this period of time? Those you guys make wish and just go on the candle. Shazam. Alright, Aquarius, we have King of Wands right here. Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries. Eight of Swords in the Wants and Wishes with this mentality being over. It's torture. Justice card. Libra. Head over heart decision, but right now your heart's kind of rolling. King of Swords. Reverse down in the situation below. We also have the Strength card. Once again, Leo in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. Four of Wands reverse as the catalyst as well as the final result what began this and what ended it. And then the beginning theme is the fight of wands. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers time. Everyone's fighting each other. Everyone's just beating each other with sticks and lasers and such. Right? Hmm. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Lots of fire and air. I don't really see you except for maybe the King of Swords where you're just all pissed off and like in a bad mood. And if that one person comes near you, you're probably just going to cut their head off. Or just let your monkey like beat them terribly or some shit, right? Or just something. Just not in a good mood in a really, really nasty attitude sort of mood. Um, this king of wands right here, he's got passion to do something. Probably move to the past. Maybe he's looking over things accordingly. It could be you as well trying to look over stuff. But you could be dealing with a fire sign who has passions to go back to the past. Is he riding a unicorn? Yes, he is. Oh my god, these cards are so cool. He's got a Unicorn. But yeah, he's moving in swiftly to go into some shit. But we got the King of Swords down here. Who is in a bad mood. Possibly dealing with cancer. But it's like... Hmm. It's like... It's like trying to run away from like being Thanos to death, but not really having any sort of idea how to accomplish that. Like you're trying to get away from something that's definitely chasing you down and is bad for you. Could be this King of Wands right here. But it's like you don't know where to go after you start running. Like you're trying to look for almost a safe haven to let you calm down, but you're so into your mood to try to get a victory that you don't realize it's like... You kind of have to plan out how you're going to be victorious to begin with. Uh, Eight of Swords for the Wants and Wishes. Wanting to get out of this mental headspace, but being super duper paranoid at the moment. Like, you want to get out of here, but you're being defensive. Probably more defensive than what you should be. You know? Because, you know... You had to walk away and from a shitty person with shitty offers. You know, like you were offered this stuff and this offer or whatever was brought into your home, which was of some significance, just didn't help matters. So it was like you had to take off. This person like wanted to fight with their swords and you weren't even going to play. It was just like, you know what? I'm good at silent treatment, so I just don't have to talk to you ever again. You know? Mind you, you only learn that from Capricorn. <clears throat> but that's beside the point. Strength card in the obstacles and challenges coming against you. Could be a Leo once again, but someone definitely holding up their strength. 
That card went all the way over there and I gotta use my toes. Okay. Actually worked better than what I thought it would. Alright, um... Hold up your strength. This is your card. It's the Star Reverse. I like to think that your ancestors, your spirit guides, are watching you perform rituals, casting stars, and just wondering what the hell it is you're doing because it's like you're praying too hard. It's like, hey, hello, I'm right in front of you. You can you can stop. Like you, yeah. like you were trying to accomplish that already, but now everything's in motion and movement. But it's like you're still doing the exact same stuff you were doing before. And then Mr. Manhattan from Watchmen's here, he's just like, hey, um, you can take a break for a minute, you know, like, it's like you're not even trying to, um, it's like you've asked for help, but once the people came to help you, like, you started giving them advice on the stuff that you were asking about, and they're just like, wait, no, no, this isn't how it works, we just, like, pay attention, I think your strength is, like, interfering with your ability possibly to listen. To those who might be able to give you advice, or even outside forces that are coming in to aid you a little bit. Just a little bit. Not, not, not Nothing too severe, though. Then we have Justice Reverse. Having a head over hard decision. Might be dealing with bad karma. Might be dealing with legalities and stuff. And it's like, you're having a hard time letting go of somebody who you should stop waiting for. To come back home. It's like you're having a hard time letting that portion of your life go. It's, and it's like you're still willing to fight for it over here in the beginning theme, but it's like it's slowly but surely becoming... It's a fear of having to let go of someone you care so much about. Four of Wands, the beginning and the end catalyst as well as the final result in this. What started it, what ended it, Four of Wands, relationship between one person and another no longer is functional, no longer is open, it's chaotic, the connection is closed, the door is closed, um, and one person or somebody is trying to use their flame from their candle or whatever to fight off the light from the sun that's coming in and that is not working. It's like, this is reality, this is your truth. Reality wins, regardless of what you think is and is not true. And it's like this person hasn't figured it out yet. And that's why the door's been closed on this connection. What's the ending theme, please? Yay. Ooh, we got two cards. I'll give you two cards. Um, not taking a leap of faith. Well, maybe I won't take two cards, because this is, like, kind of specific. Um, not venturing to this offer to invest into the home, I think. That's what's starting the fights. That's what's keeping the fighting going. Like, someone isn't taking the bait, I feel like. Yeah, that's what I want to title your video. Someone isn't taking the bait. Yeah, this relationship just, it, 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 it's been done for a while and it's just, it's the eve of it. Like, here you both are. It's like you guys tried wearing each other's masks, but it was still masks. Like, you didn't really see each other for you were, even after all this time has passed, and now you guys are just ending things but even with all this pain the cups are hidden behind the sky but you still got cute look cute two cups and a little rose right there for some hope you just gotta remember to look deeper than the mask i get i guess and that'll bring you happy so that was your reading aquarius Thank you for watching my video. If you want a personal reading, my email is down below in the description box. I don't charge, but I have a PayPal for donations and chips or, or tips. I always say chips for some reason. Or tips if you so choose. Also, please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed. Love your face. Take it easy, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.